It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. So, Mr. Things of That Nature Walkie Talkie Hope team is going extra hard to make sure that they fix his image. And it is my opinion that they have to do this, and they will be doing this for the next few months because these shows are really going to show his character in the light in which we know it to be, which is dangerous, evil, out of control, allegedly, and of course, you know, in our opinion. Y'all, let's go ahead and talk about this article that they dropped today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Go ahead and hit that post notification bell so you are up to date with every time that I upload and you can be up to date with all of the latest Love & Mirror Chuntsville drama. I got some of this tea today, which I bust out laughing, you guys, after I read the article. And I really skimmed through it because it is a lot of BS, a lot of nonsense, a lot of lies. Nobody's going to fact check him. I see everybody is going to just go with everything that he's saying. And I'm assuming that these are people that he is paying to get this out here like this, allegedly, and in my opinion. He's paying people to put this on the internet. We all know you can pay to have things on the internet, allegedly, and in my opinion. His team is working hard, and I think that they just need to tell him the truth. Come out, be honest. First of all, drop the case with your ex-wife. Come out, be honest about everything that allegedly happened amongst you in the slow slaw, and maybe people would start to get over everything that's going on. But the fact that you continue to attack your ex-wife and then throwing these fake relationships in our face while slow slaw in the background exposing you every three seconds is really, you can't really hide what you got going on, sir. And it's a reflection of who you are. You're the same person that have an issue with allegedly giving your lawyer $10,000 to go ahead and finish the case with you and Mill. You can't afford it. You can't afford to fight. I'm going to drop some clips in this video because Martel is a complete contradiction. Let's go ahead and read this article, y'all. Y'all tell me what you think about this article in the comments. It says, the birth, career, success, and net worth of Martel Ho in 2023. His team is advising him in the wrong direction, in my opinion, and they need to do better. But the article reads, Martel Ho is a successful entrepreneur and a reality television star best known for his appearance on the hit show Love and Marriage Huntsville. Ho is a native of Alabama and is known for his business savvy and real estate expertise. Over the years, Ho has built an impressive net worth and in this article, we'll explore how he achieved his success and what his net worth looked like. Yes, y'all, already I'm just as confused. They're talking about Mr. Things of That Nature, Walkie Talkie Ho. You guys can pause and read. I'm skimming through it, but Another part of the article says, today Martel Holt net worth is estimated to be around 20 million, y'all, 20 million. His success in real estate, construction, and other business ventures has helped him to build an impressive portfolio of assets and investments. In addition to his business ventures, Ho also owns several properties and investments, including stocks, bonds, and other financial instruments. So maybe he got some stocks that we don't know about, but... You know, it's not looking too good for Martel, allegedly, and in my opinion, he still got to get up out of that house. It also says one of the keys to Holt's success has been his ability to identify opportunities and take risks. Throughout his career, he has been willing to take chances and invest in new ventures, even when the odds were against him. I, we haven't seen one example of that, you guys. Um, like, literally, we have not one example. Martel has continued to demonstrate when the odds are against him, he's going to attack you like a vicious dog with rabies. Like he's an animal. He's crazy. He's out of control. Even the judge thinks so, allegedly, which is why he's being, I'm not even going to say investigated, but which is why he's having to do a court ordered psychiatric evaluation, allegedly, because his behavior is out of control. If you guys want to check out this article, I'll leave a link to this in the description bar. Um, it also stated 
under there because they had frequently asked questions. And one of the questions was, what does Martell Holt do for a living? Because none of us know. It says, for those who are entirely clueless, Martell Holt is a famous reality star and real estate agent. His rise to fame is thanks to his reality series or his wife's reality series, Love and Marriage Huntsville. The show focused on married couples who are active in real estate business, and it starred Martell Holt and his ex-wife, Melody Holt. So basically, his claim to fame and his claim to success is riding his wife's coattail. He has no real estate things going on. Like we don't know about anything that he has going on real estate wise, where the properties that he sold, who is he working with? He can't even close on like we've seen not one picture of him closing on a home. Do he even have his real estate his do it, do he have his real estate license, you guys? Because I don't really know. So why are we doing that? Why are we saying he's a real estate agent? Why are we saying that this is his reality show? Carlos King said out his own mouth that Melody walked in with her head held high, looking glam and fabulous. Martel was sitting down looking goofy in a mug and Mel pitched him that show. Martel didn't do anything but sit there and smile and reap the benefits and send money to his slow slaw. So I don't understand this, but you guys, let's look at this clip. We went to court and, um... <clears throat> You know, asked for us to have a mediation. And I just asked for six simple things. Like, no man watching the kids. And if you fly to town, make sure you call me before you call any other thing. So give me first right, you know. And I'm going to do the same thing. My attorney sent me that, that 10000 bill for, for 20-some days. I got mad at him. So while Mr. Things of That Nature and Mrs. Things of That Liquor sit up here and laugh about this entire situation, this is actually the time where he threw a chair at his attorney allegedly. So the story that I broke about Martel needing a psychiatric evaluation, court ordered allegedly, that came from Unann. You guys go check out her channel. In her channel, she basically stated, or the person that contacted her about this stated that Martel got into an altercation with his lawyer and was mad that the lawyer requested $30,000 and Martel threw a chair at his lawyer, which is in turn why the judge wanted to grant him or make him do the court ordered psychiatric evaluation. Because we all know somebody that can't even keep their comp composure in a government building with a judge can no way keep their composure behind closed doors when nobody's watching them or holding them accountable. <laughs> 20 something. When we were in court, I said that I would much rather go to mediation so we can go ahead and resolve this instead of going to trial and things of that nature. Because to me, so again, he's embarrassed. He tried to bully Mel. It didn't work in his favor. He wanted to only do mediation with Mel. Mel said, no, she don't want to do mediation. She want to do uh, the trial for full custody. The judge granted them and made them go to mediation. Mel spent what he said to be like 20, 45 minutes in mediation and then came back out and he was unhappy with the results, which I'm assuming required his lawyer to give him a new fee if he wanted his lawyer to be there for, I'm assuming, the trial that Mill wanted to have him go on for full custody. And then that's when he got upset because he is broke and he couldn't afford to take Mill to court in the first place. So while they out here with this $20 million thing, understand that he's being taken to court and he can possibly... Um, get his uh have to pay for uh, child support as well so team while y'all back there make sure you understand that as well it's all unnecessary Millie and her attorney they objected to that uh, but the judge granted it to us or whatnot so he only tells small parts of the story he never tells the whole story so, so you know, I paid for mediation I sent over my request um to Melody and her attorney they stayed on it for about 30 40 minutes to only send back you know a request of she doesn't want full custody like I said, he only tells small parts of the story, but if you pay attention, you can catch it and kind of piece it together. So when he took Melody to court for full custody, I'm sure Dodo asked him the people, what would it take to just mediate it, thinking that Mill would just agree to the mediation. 
In doing so, he paid $10,000 for mediation. So he thought it was going to cost him $10,000 to get this done, allegedly. When Mel came back and said no to the mediation, that she wanted full custody and to go to trial, he then found out that it was going to cost him way more than $10,000, which resulted into all of the lashing out and everything that we had seen in the past. This is my opinion and my theory on it. Y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what you think. What? So I see there was no compromise, and so I told my attorney, we're not going back and forth. I left. Again, he only tells small parts of the story. Martel didn't just leave. He got into an argument with his lawyer, allegedly, and he threw a chair at his lawyer, allegedly. It was there for a lot of people to see. This was in the mediation. So, uh, like I said, do we really think Martel just left after Mel didn't agree to his mediation terms? Do we really, really think that, y'all, after all of the lashing out that he's done? Be for real. Y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that post notification bell so you are up to date with all of the latest Love and Mirror Chuntsville drama. Purpose is not in the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not in.